Welcome back to Travel Tuesday with Teresa. I'm your host, Teresa, the founder of Honeymoon Islands. And today we're going to take you on a tour of the British Virgin Islands. And my co-host is Saprika, who is with the British Virgin Islands Tourist Board. Welcome to the show, Saprika. Hi, thank you so much for having me here today, Teresa. Oh, you're welcome. And I'm glad we were able to connect because we've attempted this several times in the past and our schedules just didn't match. And finally, we got you up. So as you're sharing your screen now, I'm going to fill people in that you're going to give us a tour of your island because you're from the British Virgin Islands. And after your presentation, we're going to showcase two of my favorite properties, Rosewood Little Dicks Bay and Oil Nut Bay. Both of them are fabulous places to consider when you're planning your vacation to the British Virgin Islands. But for now, it's over to you. All right, thank you so much. And for everyone on here, welcome to the British Virgin Islands. Now, when you think of the world's most lavish experiences, it's no doubt that private VIP transfers and traditional decadence immediately come to mind. But in the British Virgin Islands, we'd argue that true luxury is instead defined by the exclusive access to some of the world's most prized gems in one location. The ultimate in luxury in the BVI entails experiences so transformative that you cannot help but to leave the destination a changed traveler whether it's inhaling crisp seaside air from your own private luxurious glamping palapas set along the shores of the third largest barrier reef in the world, or exploring our 60 islands in an iconic fully crewed yacht, the word ultra lux in the British Virgin Islands offers a unifying theme, which is an unforgettable experience. Now, if you are hearing about our beautiful islands for the first time, welcome to Paradise Redefined. And if you've heard about us and had the pleasure to be before, welcome back to Paradise Found. Now, our islands are located about 60 miles east of Puerto Rico, meaning that they are just a short 30 minute plane ride from San Juan, Puerto Rico, and 15 miles north of the United States Virgin Islands. The British Virgin Islands has a total of 60 islands. Yes, you heard that right, 60, with approximately 27 that are inhabited. Now, some of the main islands that you may be familiar with as they continue to stand out in conversations while speaking about trending travel destinations located in the Caribbean are our four main islands, which are Tortola, Jos van Dijk, Virgin Gorda, and Anigata. For many visitors to the British Virgin Islands, Tortola is where your BVI experience will all begin. Tortola is home to Road Town, which is the BVI's capital city, and it's the largest of the destination 60 islands. Now, Tortola makes a great base for exploring the BVI since there are numerous options for inter-island ferries from Road Town, West End, or even Trellis Bay, where Beef Island, the Terence B. Letsum International Airport, where you'll come in, is actually located. Now, most of Tortola's beaches are actually on the north side of the, the destination. So if you're actually looking to stay in Tortola, Teresa will probably stare you to stay on the north side of this island so that you have all the seaside adventures you can have with access to be able to go from island to island. An international buzz has actually been created in Tortola because we do have our monthly full moon parties that you can go to, which are beachside celebrations where you can hear the sounds of the BVI and you can have a taste of the British Virgin Islands. And these full moon parties are held at Trellis Bay, which is located on Beef Island, as well as Foxy's, which is on Yost Van Dyke. Now, jumping right into one of my favorite islands, and actually the island where Teresa had depicted actually in her background, Virgin Gorda is some of the stunning beaches and natural wonders. It is actually one of the most coveted island getaways in the Caribbean. Virgin Gorda is the third largest island in the British Virgin Island, and it's really serene and peaceful. The number one must-see site on Virgin Gorda is the Bats. 
It is actually a coastal national park containing those huge granite boulders that you see there. So it's very similar to the Seychelles, but with less flying time, I'd say. Now, the Bass National Park is one of the British Virgin Islands' most unique natural wonders. It has these beautiful shallow lagoons, so you can actually walk through. It's about a 15-minute trek through these caves. And then once you get to the end, you'll be at Devil's Bay, and you can swim and snorkel in that area. Now, Joss Van Dyke is named after an early Dutch settler and former pirate. The island scenery is gorgeous with coral reefs. We have secluded beaches there and a backdrop of mountains. So if you are one of those people, you know, going to a destination looking for a great hiking location, Joss Van Dyke would be that. When you climb up to the top of Majani Hill, you get amazing views of the British Virgin Islands as well, as well as the US Virgin Islands. Now, Great Harbor in Jos Van Dijk also has the highest concentration of the island's bars and restaurants. So we like to call this the party island. And one of the most like highly rated bars and restaurant is called Foxy's. And there's actually a picture of Mr. Foxy strumming on his guitar. Foxy is a BVI icon. When I tell you icon, people go there. He makes up these folklore music. He tells you about the history of the BVI. He's even made up songs about the different states that people come and say that they're from because he knows so much. So that within itself is a unique experience in Yost Van Dyke. And if you don't do any of the hiking or visit Foxy, there are two things that you must do when you get to Joss Van Dyke. You have to wander barefoot along the sugar white sand that you see at White Bay or order a painkiller at the Soggy Dollar Bar. Now, the painkiller actually is our national cocktail in the British Virgin Islands. And when I tell you the creamy goodness that makes up that drink with that spice rum that's local to the BVI, it literally feels like heaven in a cup. So you have to experience that when you go to Joss Van Dyke. Now, Anigata may be the BVI's second largest island, but its proximity to that horseshoe reef that I talked about earlier ensures that it really remains quiet and uncrowded. Shopping and nightlife, if you're that type of person that wants to do that during your vacation to the British Virgin Islands, Joss Van Dyke will not be that place. Joss Van Dyke is one of those places you'd go if you really want to disconnect yourself completely from the outside world and really experience and attach yourself to the old Caribbean. Not only is it very secluded, not only is it one of those places that you'll go where you feel that laid back lifestyle, but the succulent lobster in Anigata, so much so, is so popular when people come to Anigata that it has its own festival in the month of November called the Anigata Lobster Festival. So if you're ever in the British Virgin Islands and you come for Thanksgiving, we have an entire festival dedicated to the Anigata Lobster Festival. So you can plan your trip around that. Other than the lobster, other than that laid back lifestyle, we do have shoreline horseback riding, amazing for families or couples if they wanted to. And Anigata has the beautiful pink flamingos located over there. So you can go flamingo watching as well as um, you can go to an iguana habitat as well. And as if the description of our islands don't tell you how amazing they are, I wanted to make note that all of these islands year after year receive travel awards. This year, three of the four recently dominating in the Travel and Leisure World's Best Top 25 list, as well as USA Today's Best of list. We love to boast on the fact that in the British Virgin Islands, one of the luxuries you'll find is that you can have breakfast on one island, lunch on one island, and dinner on the next, all within the same day, and all while being able to have your accommodating island being the start and end point for your day. The British Virgin Islands is tropical all year round. So it's a destination that you can visit for the entire year. However, we do have a rainy season, which are September through November. So during that time, a lot of our hotels will close to allow their staff to have some vacation time opening up in um, the last week of October, as well as early November. 
Now, entry to the British Virgin Islands does require a passport or passport card. However, you are able to travel to the British Virgin Islands up to the expiration date of your passport. So you won't have to worry about renewing passports three to six months out if you're traveling to the BVI and your passport is valid during your time of travel. It's important to note that we also do use the US dollar. So it's encouraged to come without the need, you know, to exchange currency or have to worry about that stuff. Now getting to the British Virgin Islands has become extremely easy. As of June, 2023, American Airlines began their direct flights daily from Miami International Airport into the Terrence B. Letsum International Airport. The flight takes a total of two hours. So this even means for, if you're coming from the West Coast, for instance, if you take a red eye into Miami, you can literally catch that 1025 and be in the BVI by 1.30, checking in, you know, having a swim, enjoying that water. And then by nighttime, you're having sunset cocktails with that painkiller or some champagne. Now, alternate options include connecting flights through Puerto Rico or St. Thomas USVI. And from Puerto Rico, there are regularly scheduled uh, charter flights that offer top level luxury service. A very popular US carrier that actually started its service in November coming to the BVI was Tradewind Aviation. And they're actually operating, they do operate on Sunday, Monday, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays through April 8th, 2024. And they'll be coming back on stream in November of this year as well. So you can take um, trade winds to actually go from Sang Juan to Taddy Bay Airport, which is in Virgin Gorda. So great for any of you who are going to be staying at Rosewood Little Dicks Bay over in Virgin Gorda, Oil Nut Bay, or any of the Virgin Limited properties like Necker Island and Mosquito Island. As if we couldn't extend luxury to another level, no matter the airline carrier or private jet carrier, if you're interested in having a more personalized VIP arrival at the Terrence B. Letsum Airport, Teresa will use the IAM Jet Center, which is an elegant FBO. This features private immigration processing, an elegant lounge area, and a premier catering option and they do have private state-of-the-art screening. So they pick you up right from your private jet or whatever airline you come into the British Virgin Islands in, and they will take you to the lounge. You sit in there while they do the immigration processing. You don't have to wait in any lines, and they take you right out to your mode of transportation. And they, they get you through that BVI arrival experience in style. Now, another way to connect to the British Virgin Islands is via St. Thomas U.S. Virgin Islands. And I'm sure you're saying there are so many options to get into the BVI because we've made it so easily accessible whether you come in by sea or by plane. And the sea option is quite a unique introduction to us, really providing a more scenic route. And there are a number of options by sea to get to the BVI. So you can do public ferry services or private water taxi services. The public ferries, they run daily, several times a day. The last ferry is at about 6 p.m., which actually coincides with the airline itineraries in St. Thomas. But my absolute favorite suggestion is to come into the British Virgin Islands via a private water taxi. When you get into St. Thomas, Teresa will connect you and organize having a private driver pick you up from the airport and then they'll bring you to the private docks where the private water taxi will pick you up and the beauty about a private water taxi you don't have to wait for the public ferry schedule their schedule is on your time to come into the british virgin islands you don't have to clear customs and immigration all that stuff is done for you when you get into the british virgin islands and they literally take you right up to your own little private bvi escape no matter where you are staying now let's get into our first ultra lux British Virgin Island indulgence, which is our accommodations. In the British Virgin Islands, 16 of our islands offer a full range of accommodations for you. And this is where Teresa is really gonna show you guys her BVI expert knowledge that she taps into. 
she's the one who's really going to help you find the perfect accommodation that meets all of your needs. In the BVI, you have a choice of over eight private island resorts, giving you the ultimate Richard Branson experience, as we like to call it. So you can enjoy hopping aboard a private water taxi or taking a short helicopter ride to your what we call not so humble aboard, because I mean, our guests that stay over at the, these private islands just happen to be and have that whole island to themselves. Now, Mosquito Island, Eustatia Island, Guana Island, and Necker Island are some of the most exclusive private island billionaire owned properties in the world. And four of them are actually located in the British Virgin Islands. So it speaks a lot to this destination. And it's truly a testament to the destination because one of the BVI's greatest assets is that you really won't find a traditional all-inclusives here. We aren't a cookie cutter destination. There are no one size fits all mega resorts that are all flash and glitter in the British Virgin Islands. We really boast on our collection of sophisticated resorts, boutique hotels, private villas, and Caribbean luxury glamping palapas. And you'll get an opportunity today to get acquainted with two of our outstanding boutique resorts in the BVI that really offer you the legendary ultra lux service and hospitality that you deserve. Now we've talked about how you your travel advisor will get you to the BVI. We've even touched the surface on how Teresa will be your millionaire matchmaker of sorts when choosing the right accommodation for you. Now it's time to talk about what makes the destination stand out as the ultimate luxury wanderlust because Teresa is going to curate the perfect British Virgin Islands ultra lux escape. Now the British Virgin Islands element of the unexpected that keeps our repeat clientele at a 90% rate is, you know, the experience of being able to immerse yourselves in the playground of the 60 islands and keys, which the territory sits on. It really affords you that new defined luxury of experiential travel all in one place. Whether you're chartering that yacht at sea, staying on land in a private villa, or just a day tripper actually coming over, you're bound to indulge in some BVI experienceers, as we like to call them, that will take that once in a lifetime experience to a whole other level. So get ready for the BVI's ultimate wanderlust list that Teresa will add to your customized perfect luxury itinerary. Being an all year round destination, we've decided to make things a little bit easier by breaking things down into seasons. So if you're visiting the destination in the spring, nothing says exclusive experience air like getting to drift away with a deep tissue healing massage in the Caribbean's first and only floating spa. Anchored right off of the island of Jos van Dyke, your clients can rock gently on the serene salty waters. Access to the spa is by water. So the spa provides a complimentary water taxi to and from, but more adventurous guests choose to actually boat up from their mega or super yachts. They'll paddle board over, they kayak or swim their way there. So Teresa will organize all of this with Ocean Spa for you to be able to come over. Those rectangular windows under the massage tables like this one featured here, inspired by glass bottom boats, allow people to gaze into the water and actually watch those colorful fish swimming around because Jos van Dyke has very live marine life. While getting a local herb massage, I actually was able to experience a dolphin swimming below me through the porthole. And that within itself was such an amazing experience for me. This spa has been featured in Forbes, National Geographic, Travel and Leisure, Coastal Living, and it's really an adventure not to be missed. Now, how about the summertime? We know in the past, travel was geared more towards Europe during the summertime, especially for family travel. However, based on trending numbers during and post pandemic, we have seen a lot more guests in the Caribbean during the summer. And the summer is quite an exciting time to be in the British Virgin Islands, as it is all about our Emancipation Festival, which is like our carnival. And we do have 
many other festivals such as our music festival which will be starting up for the first time again this year it's called the bvi rhythm festival so if you do love traveling for entertainment and coming and seeing international and local performances this is a great time to come down families friends couples traveling to the british virgin islands during the summer and trying to figure out what to do Tour an organic farm on the island of Tortola and discover the local cuisine through our agricultural lifestyle. Every meal in the British Virgin Islands is really connected to the spirit of our islands. So a meal can be a simple affair at a private cove beach picnic, an impromptu bite at a beach bar, or an elegant seaside dinner. Good Moon Farm, which is pictured here, this is located actually on the eastern end of the island of Tortola, and it offers a bit of all of those things in one. This family-run regenerative organic farm visit begins with a tour of the farm, guided by the owner, Mr. Dick Aragon Reed. Hearing about the BVI's enchanting Epicurean history, smelling and picking fresh herbs, tasting locally-based libations, mixed with passion fruit, lemongrass, coconut, and even soursop, you'll be delighted to experience this high sensory experience. Now, once the tour is complete, you'll head to the kitchen where you'll be creating dinner alongside the in-house private chef. And it all ends with a full candlelight dinner under the stars that really speaks to the sentiment that a gastronomy adventure is always within reach in the British Virgin Islands. Now, my absolute favorite time of year in the British Virgin Islands is the fall or winter. There's always a bit of extra buzz of excitement during that time of year. And as you can see with the event schedule, the British Virgin Islands has so many activities during the fall and winter months. Now, one of the major takeaway immersive experiences and my ultra lux phase is on the weekend of Thanksgiving, as I mentioned before, when I spoke about Anigata, all roads leads to that island, with Anigata being the only island made out of that coral and limestone, so it's completely flat. It literally stands at about 28 feet. Now, this mound featured here in this photo is actually about 10 feet representing pure Caribbean history. And it's one of Anigata's biggest draws when you come over to the, to the island. So this mound, you'll actually take a boat, which will be arranged. The boat goes out to the conch shell mound. And when you get over there, this conch shell mound actually formed an island. It goes back to 200 plus years of Arawaks and Caribs and the same traditions of going to die for the conch and actually discarding of the conch in this area has really kept our marine ecosystem alive and flourishing on the island of Anigata. So you can actually swim through this area because it's so shallow. You can dive down for the conch, but one of the experiences that comes out of this that I think that people love is when they dive down for the conch and they bring it up back up to the captain of the boat, he actually makes a conch ceviche, which is like the escargot caviar of Anigata. So everything that you get on this island, the lobster, the conch, the fish, everything is fresh. So you get that sea to table experience when you go over to Anigata. Now, one of the most critically acclaimed ultra luck phase in the Caribbean is our sailing. Our sailing, we are known as the sailing capital of the world because we have one of the largest fleets of charter yachts which can operate as their own private all-inclusive floating hotels. It's an absolute must at least once for couples, families, and incentive groups even to get together. It's always a wonderful experience for them. You can charter a bear boat with one of the top of the line charter companies that we have where you can be the captain and your guests can be the crew. Or I highly recommend, and I think Teresa will do the same, is that you actually charter a crew charter yacht where you can just sit back, relax, and leave everything up to the full crew made up of a captain, a chef, and other crew members assigned to take care of each and every one of your needs like you see pictured here. And this goes for the smaller charter yachts all the way up to the mega yachts. It's really a wonderful time sailing in the BVI. 
With the luxury of the BVI being able to island hop, sailing provides a way to easily indulge in all of the activities that I previously highlighted with a full itinerary of some of your favorite islands list. I mean, have you seen the Bravo special below deck? Sailing in the British Virgin Islands is the real deal. And below deck was actually when it started shot in the British Virgin Islands. Now guests celebrating milestones or just the gift of life in general and really wanna amp it up, look no further. The British Virgin Islands is steeped in romance, providing the perfect ambiance for a destination wedding and honeymoons because of our secluded beaches, our wonderful swaying palms and our moonlit nights that are only part of this picture perfect canvas. Now the BVI sophisticated accommodations complete that picture with amenities and features guaranteed to create the experience of a lifetime. Now with brides that we get coming in, after the weddings, couple will actually find themselves in a spectacular honeymoon setting. So a lot of the brides that we have that come into the British Virgin Islands, they'll have their wedding at some place like the beautiful baths. They'll do it at one of the properties. And then what the bride and groom will do is they'll go off to another island to be able to have their honeymoon. And this is a very unique experience in the BVI when it comes to romance, because as you've been able to see throughout this whole presentation, you are able to have that experience of a wonderful backdrop anywhere within the British Virgin Islands. Now, most resort wedding packages include a number of perks like complimentary champagne, a couple's massage, breakfast in bed, or a romantic dinner for two at a private candlelit table backdrop to exchange your wedding vows. And these include places to exchange your wedding vows really include the beach, the tropical gardens, and so many other places that I've already talked about. And again, I keep mentioning your travel advisor because Teresa is such a wealth of knowledge when it comes to the British Virgin Islands and putting you in the right direction to make your big day the day of your dreams. She has the connections to the industry partners. She has me, as I like to to say as a BVI tourism board, but as her personal concierge to, you know, help her with anything that she needs assistance with. But she's really the expert on all of this. And in the British Virgin Islands, for anybody getting married, it's wonderful to note that you can obtain an official marriage license on the same day in the BVI. And most packages will include concierge services to arrange photographers, caterers, and florists that really ensures your special day is a seamless experience. Now, other than romance, the British Virgin Islands is very good for big gatherings. We do have the wellness retreats, several of them that come down to the British Virgin Islands year in, year out. You've seen our wonderful location. You've seen the way that it rejuvenates and reinvigorates as you've seen those images. The Ariel BVI is actually a unique private island resort that's focus solely on, you know, wellness experience, mind and body wellness in the most beautiful scenery that you can be in. And they do a wonderful job of putting those wellness retreats together. Multi-generational family getaways are quite a phenomenal experience in the BVI because you can stay at some place like Oil Nut Bay. They have several villas and suites where the family can all stay in. There's so many gathering areas throughout the resorts that they can go out for the day if they even wanted to as well to the other islands, some of those other islands I mentioned. If there's a meeting and incentive group or someone who wants to do meeting and incentive, there's several places in the BVI. We, we would mostly accommodate smaller groups, but it's a wonderful experience. Even sailing, you can have a meeting and incentive group on a sailing vacation. Birthdays, a lot, we get a lot of 50th birthdays in the British Virgin Islands, a lot of milestones in the BVI. And sports tournaments are also becoming very big because as everyone is playing tennis and pickleball, literally on Necker Island, Sir Richard Branson has the Necker Cup where international tennis players as well as the guests who are staying at Necker Island get an opportunity to play alongside international players as well as Richard Branson. So that's another reason to come and experience our wonderful islands with those amazing huge gatherings.
Now, last but not least, in terms of celebrations, I spoke a little bit about that Anigata Lobster Festival. Can you tell it's one of my favorites? But the British Virgin Islands is an Epicurean dream. I talked a little bit about some of our foods throughout this presentation, but I'll tell you, we used to have only one month dedicated to culinary experiences, but people loved it so much that we now in 2024 and moving forward, we actually have a full year of food festivals. And some of the experiences that we have for this year, the Anagata Lapsa Festival, those dates will come out quite shortly. We have coming up the Taste of Virgin Gorda in the month of March. We're also going to have the British Virgin Islands Food and Wine Festival coming up in April, where we have international chefs coming into the BVI. You know, they're gonna do different events like wine tastings with our local chefs and they're going to make this pairing a really wonderful experience when you come into the BVI to experience our culinary experiences. Thank you very much for that presentation, Safrika. The BVI's is so special. There's so much going on, as you can see through the presentation. Um, it's not overly developed like some of the Caribbean islands. Yeah. And it's quite unique. There's something for everybody. There's exactly. nobody left out of this presentation. You've got your girls getaway, your solo travelers, wellness, food and wine travelers, destination weddings, family reunions, anybody and everybody known to mankind can go to the BVI. So it's a fabulous destination. And thank you very much for your presentation. And now we're going to showcase two of my favorite properties on island. I'll showcase the Rosewood Little Dicks Bay and Oil Nut Bay. And I'd like to introduce you to Ashton from Rosewood Little Dicks Bay. Welcome to the show, Ashton. Thank you, Teresa. Great. And also to the show is Jamia from Oil Nut Bay in the British Virgin Islands. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Awesome. So we're going to start with Ashton at Rosewood Little Dicks Bay. It's one of my favorite properties. Rosewood is a large chain throughout the world. They give Four Seasons and Amman Hotels a run for their money. They are considered to be a very luxury brand. And they have a property in the British Virgin Islands called Rosewood Little Dicks Bay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Rosewood Little Dicks Bay. As Teresa said, not only is this one of her favorite properties, this property has held a place in my heart, um, you know, going almost three generations back. And I'm Ashton Jalano, your group sales manager for the property. Rosewood Little Dicks Bay is actually celebrating this year's 60 years of rich history. What we're looking over right now is our private bay. Imagine yourself coming around this little corner here, meeting your butler on a dock, getting our signature rum cocktail, and being immediately whisked away to your ocean view cottage. 30 seconds from your bed to toes in sand. As we mentioned, we're celebrating um, really almost half a century of rich history. The property itself is just absolutely magnificent with ocean views just expanding the entire 500 acre resort. Overall, we're 82 rooms, and that's a combination of, you know, our beautiful little ocean view cottages. We have six different varieties of suites that do have beautiful pool views, walk out to the beaches, and we even have villas. Um, each villa does have its own beautiful kitchen interior. They have private pools, some nestled up on the hilltop, a little golf cart to get you around, and some located right there on the beach. Amongst that, we do have seven event spaces and then four restaurants and lounges across the resort. My favorite part about these restaurants and lounges is each one of them have the perfect little hideaway where you can have, you know, a private toes in the sand dinner for two. You can be tucked away into the Rockefeller room for a private tasting with chef. There's so many beautiful ways to really enhance that, that perfect honeymoon stay with us. Location-wise, we are right in the middle of Virgin Gorda, which is an amazing island. There's so much to do here from going over to Spanish Town to just around the corner to the baths, um, which is just an iconic half-day experience, to taking a boat over to visit a few of our friends for the day as well. So there's plenty to do. And what's also so amazing is that butler experience I highlighted earlier. Once you check in, 
you are actually set up with your team. You have two wonderful hosts for the week. Each morning, they'll check in with you. You know, what would you like to do today? Would you like me to set up a tour of the bass? Would you like me to, to, to get a Jeep for you to go to hog heaven and see the most amazing views and have the best barbecue? You have someone to hold your hand through this whole week experience. Each of our rooms, as I mentioned, are just steps from the beach. As we saw in that overview, you know, it, it's 500 acres where this large C shape that overlooks that bay. And when I say you can snorkel turtles all day, you can snorkel turtles all day. It's one of my favorite pieces. Um, but each of the rooms are beautifully equipped and just recently renovated. So we did close in 2015 for a renovation and just reopened. So everything is absolutely beautiful, fresh and new, but still has that original sense of place to taking us 60 years back in history. Across the resort, they have amazing restaurants, each one with their own feel. And you kind of see the sugar mill. You know, it's my favorite for lunch. It's right there, toes in the sand, a little bit more Spanish tapas style. The pavilion we're looking at right here overlooks the bay. This is where breakfast is included daily. And let me tell you the best French toast I think I've ever had in my life. But you'll start each morning here, and then you can wind your way over even to the reef house for a beautiful little lunch and dinner. Across the resort, there's plenty of event spaces as well. So if you'd like to host little fires, if you wanna have larger events, anything like that, it's a beautiful destination for all. Lest we not forget one of my favorite opportunities at a resort is our spa. The spa is actually tucked away on the very um, southeast corner overlooking the bay. This is one of our standard treatment rooms. So as you're in here, you truly feel like you're on the edge of the world. We do have um, an outdoor swimming pool as well. 24-7 fitness center, six tennis courts, a pickleball court, beach yoga, yoga on the mountaintop. I mean, just so much to do there. From water activities and day-to-day, -day, as I mentioned, you have this amazing butler team to help guide you through your experience. But just on the property, if you don't want to leave, diving, snorkeling, sailing, kayaking, you know, walking trails, and of course, excursions to six sorry, seven secluded beaches that we're happy to drop you off at the day complimentary for us. Um, each day we do include a variety of activities, whether that be wellness session with Dr. Arun, whether that be a uh, pickleball class, or whether that be one of those island drop tours there as well. So I want to thank you for your time. I want to thank you for having me here to share my slice of paradise with you, the British Virgin Islands. Thank you, Ashton, for your presentation. So now we're gonna hop over to a different island, very close. We're gonna take you to Oil Nut Bay. And I'd like to welcome to the show, Jania. Welcome to the show, Jania. Hello, thank you so much for having me. So I am Jania Drakes, the Reservation and Sales Manager here at Oil Nut Bay. And today we're gonna take you a little bit of a journey of our wonderful property. So welcome to Oina Bay. We love to say where land meets sea and luxury meets sanctuary. So Oina Bay is located on the secluded eastern tip of Virgin Gorda. Our resort is the leading luxury multi-generation community. And we are spread over 400 pristine acres surrounded by the Caribbean Sea. So you can see this wonderful view of our rival dock and some of the properties that are spread across the property. So you're probably wondering how to get to Oina Bay. There are direct flights now from Miami with American Airlines straight to Tortola, which is seasonal. And then there's also connecting flights from San Juan and St. Thomas to Tortola and Virgin Gorda Airport. Um, alternatively, there's also international flights through St. Martin and Antigua as well. So on that bay, it's only accessible by boat or helicopter. So that's why we have this exclusive paradise feel for those seeking that private island experience. So by boat, we have our wonderful new boat called Odyssey, which seats 22 persons. And this takes you to and from Tortola straight to Oina Bay. So it's a wonderful experience where you're just driving, traveling for 35 minutes from Tortola to our resort. So you have a wonderful drink. You can sunbathe on your way to the property. And then we have the helicopter experience as well too. And we are the only property where your clients can land on the helicopter pad here in the British, British Virgin Islands and then clear customs and go straight to your property. Such as Hummingbird over the Atlantic Ridge neighborhood. 
and Chimon, again, right on the beach, another three bedroom property, as well as a reef house. And then for the Marina Village, we have quite a few two bedroom options, which are great for those on a charter for pre and post stays where you just want to go on land for a few days and to relax this is a great way and a great villa for our clients to choose from. And for the honeymoon couples and for those celebrating set anniversaries, we have quite a few selection of one bedroom options. So the first option is Rainbow Villa. It has great camaraderie views of the Atlantic Sea. Then there's another popular one called Starlight Villa, which is a one bedroom. It has that wonderful plunge pool, again, looking over the Atlantic Ocean. And this is also ideal for families as well, traveling small families of four, because in the main area, there is a Queen Murphy bed. Another great option for honeymoon couples are just couples in general that's want to, you know, private island experience. We have our cliff suites. We have two cliff suites and one penthouse. And these have wonderful plunge pools and great views, again, of the Atlantic Ocean. And just look at the wonderful soaking bathtub while you're enjoying the Atlantic views. How, you know, it can't beat that. And then for those clients that may be a little bit on the budget-friendly, conscious, you know, price range, we do have our entry level base suites. So these offer garden view um, rooms. Uh, they won't have a pool, but literally you are literally less than a minute away from the heart of the resort. So you just hop on your golf cart and head over to the beach club, enjoy the three plunge pools and even the beach offerings. So what's included in the guest stay will be full service front desk and concierge, the beach club with three pools. We have the wellness studio with a yoga and Pilates room. We have a nut house for our kids and a nature center. There is a tennis court and pickleball courts, water, beach, and land equipment that's offered to our clients as well too. There are hiking trails and each property comes with electric golf cart or two depending on the villa size. Uh, we do have Wi-Fi printing and business center offerings and daily housekeeping. At Oina Bay, we have a beach club, which is situated along a mile stretch of pristine beach. So it's a wonderful area to lounge about, enjoy water sports offerings and activities. As mentioned before, we have three pools and one of them would be a kid pool and a swimming bar as well too. Great cabana and pool lounge areas. We did a multi-million dollar reservation in 2023. So all of our products and services have been upgraded. And at our beach club, we also offer water sports, so you can do a, um, kayaking, hobbies, hobby cots, kayaking, um, paddle boarding, hobby cat sailing, you name it, we offer it because, you know, BVI is the water sports mecca of the world. And then for those who want to do some land activities, we have five hiking trails as well, too. We are big on wellness, so we have wonderful spa offerings in your villa or suites. We do Reiki, we do yoga, meditation. We can curate a full wellness experience for our clients as well, too. And as we said, we're a multi-generational community here. So we have a nut house. We offer a rangers program, which is very similar to the Boys and Girl Scouts of America. So it's where you do an activity and you earn a pen. And then for those who are a lover of animals like myself, we have a rescue barn where you could interact with horses and emus and also tortoises. On a bay, we have two restaurants, the Beach Club restaurant, which is a part of the Beach Club. And this is only exclusive to the guests staying on property as well as the homeowners that have their properties here with us. And then a part of the multi-million dollar renovations is all these wonderful offerings and soft furnishings that we've done. It really elevated our you know, experience for the guests here and the wonderful ocean views right on the beach. And then through the Beach Club, we also offer provisioning in villa dining, private chefs and butler services as well too. The other restaurant that we have is Nova Restaurant at Nova. This one is open to the public and it's located in the heart of the Marina Village. So Nova is great for those who want a very casual, laid back atmosphere. If they want it, there's a plunge pool, there's over water lounging as well too. It's just a great vibe, especially on the weekends. On Saturdays, we have Rosé Saturdays. On Sundays, we have a wonderful brunch with live entertainment. And also in the Marina Village by Nova, there is a coffee shop, great um, shopping like Luna Boutique. You will always see me there every day at two o'clock just scoping out the latest <laughs> fashion and offerings. We also have a great private dining and event space. So at the Beach Club, we have the wonderful Marlin Deck, which is great. And then the beach is amazing for weddings and events too, with that paramount view, great for beach barbecues. 
And this is just an, you know, an idea of what we can do for weddings. So we, this is the one of the last weddings that we had at the end of the year. So it's great space for entertainment and lovely views and offerings. And they also our rival deck can be transformed to an evening for a cocktail hour for your guests. So we just do have a plenty of areas to entertain and to really create a wow experience and curate a wonderful experience for your clients. And also close by is Sabor and Bitteren. So we do have a, a marina um, <laughs> boat that takes our clients over every day to Sable Rock and Better Ranch, so the neighboring um, resorts. And that's only a five minute journey. And if they want to go to the kind of the mainland of Virgin Gorda, we can also organize trips to the bus, sugar cane and Kokomai as well too. And I just want to have great news. I want to let you know that we have a new spa that's going to be built starting next month. It's called the Sandara Spa and Studio, and it will be completed by the summertime. And this spa has two treatment rooms, a meditation center, and it's going to be right on the water. So this is kind of the renderings of what the spa is going to look like. We're very excited to offer a new offering to our clients. So we're hoping by the end of summer, this will be all completed. And these are just kind of some ideas of some renderings of what what the spa is going to look like. So I think you guys did a fabulous presentation. And if this podcast inspired someone to maybe perhaps go to British Virgin Islands for your next vacation, please reach out to me. My contact is found on my website and I will also list it below this presentation. If you can dream it, we will create it. Thank you. Bye.